Hi guys, former Labour leader and Prime Minister Gordon Brown was one of the key figures in the pro-unionist movement back in 2014 when Scotland last went to vote on its constitutional status. Now because of that role he has been called upon on numerous occasions to talk about Scottish independence. His position has always been that more devolution is the solution to what he sees as the Scottish nationalist problem. In 1998 he and his boss Tony Blair passed the Scotland Act which saw the creation of the Scottish Parliament and devolution. The idea at the time would be that Labour would have a stronghold north of the border. However that all changed when the SNP started winning more and more seats. With Nicola Sturgeon planning another referendum next year Sky News asked Gordon Brown what was his take on all of this and he suggested once again that more devolution is the answer. Have a listen. I, I wouldn't rule out that, but I would say that Scotland deserves better than what's happening at the moment. I mean, we're in an endless debate about uh, constitutional details that is leading us nowhere. Uh, I would like to see and I would like to put forward a far more ambitious plan for the future of Scotland, one that uh, solves some of the constitutional difficulties, deals with the economic uh, challenges we face, uh, builds a far better social fabric for this country, and that's really the issue for the people of Scotland. If the issue is posed as change through independence versus no change, and the only alternative is independence, then independence will, 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 will be something that people would be prepared to consider. But if it's one kind of change for Scotland staying within Britain, but in a better uh, situation, both in terms of its economic, social and political future, uh, as against independence, then the change that is within Britain will win. Now he's convinced that there are two options. So one is independence versus the status quo or independence versus greater devolution, uh, more powers to the Scottish Parliament. Now I want to point out a few things here. So first of all this is the voting record of Keir Starmer, the leader of the Labour Party and you can see here he has generally voted for transferring more powers to the Scottish Parliament. So in the past he has voted 14 times for, one time once against and 20 times he has been absent. But if we just look at generally he's been voting in favour of more powers to the Scottish Parliament if you ex exclude the absences. So we can maybe assume that in the future he would do the same. So if he became Prime Minister he would support, generally support more powers to the Scottish Parliament. So this is what uh, Gordon Brown is probably talking about here. A Labour government would be more supportive of a Scottish Parliament giving them more powers. Um, now we can't guarantee that, we don't know if that's true or not because we can't predict the future but this is the idea that maybe uh, Gordon Brown is trying to sell. But the problem with all of this is that if you look at the Conservative Party instead, Boris Johnson, Boris Johnson has generally voted against transferring more powers to the Scottish Parliament. This is a big problem. Now it's not just because Boris John not just because of Boris Johnson, but I'm going to show you some other problems with this. The Conservatives are generally against, if you look at pretty much any Conservative MP, they have generally voted against transferring more powers to the Scottish Parliament. The Tories are anti-devolution. And the problem also is that the Tories have been in power more over the last 70 years than the Labour Party has. So it's possible that the Labour Party could increase devolution and then be re removed from power and you would be and be replaced with the Conservatives who would reduce devolution. So Scotland would be going from you know, a position where they would have a bit more power and then see that power disappear. And we've seen it, for example, with the Internal Market Bill. But more on this, I, back in 1997, the referendum that took place in, um, in Scotland for, for devolution, not the, the 2014 refer referendum on, on independence, this is the 1997 uh, Scottish devolution referendum and there were two constituencies that voted against devolution, those being Orkney and Dumfries and Galloway. Now Dumfries and Galloway is an interesting constituency. Um, it's currently, its current MP is the Northern Ireland, uh, sorry the, the Scotland Secretary Alistair Jack. Alistair Jack is the MP for this constituency. And as I said, this constituency 
voted against devolution. So we can be pretty sure that uh, Alistair Jack is against devolution <laughs> because if we look at his voting record, generally voted against transferring more powers to the Scottish Parliament. So Alistair Jack is a Scottish MP. He's a Scottish MP from the Conservative Party. He's the Secretary of State for Scotland and he's against transferring powers to the Scottish Parliament. So as I said at the beginning, the Labour Party may, may be more inclined to devolve more power to the Scottish Parliament. But the problem is they're not always in power. And it's, it's the case that they will be out and the Tories will be back in and the Tories have a pretty bad record on devolving power to the Scottish Parliament. So when Gordon Brown talks about it's a decision for the Scottish people to choose between independence and a better Scotland, well, that better Scotland has a few caveats and a few, a few conditions to go along with it. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.